I was on a family vacation, not on an assignment or looking for a story, but sometimes a story will find you. We were at the National Cemetery of the Pacific in Hawaii, and I had thought out the gravesite of Ernie Pyle, the famous World War II correspondent killed by enemy sniper. Maybe it was old Ernie who inspired me. Maybe he was the one that pointed me towards the story that was unfolding right in front of me at the cemetery. It sits high atop an extinct volcanic crater, the National Cemetery of the Pacific in Hawaii. In the stillness here, the day that lives in infamy doesn't seem so long ago. Tomb after tomb marks the end of 32,255 lives, veterans from four wars. But on this ground where so many buried their dreams, Nobuko Uchino found hers. Every time we came here to pray, but no one, I never see one flower on top of the unknown people. That's uh, sad because people dying so young, maybe they left the family. So someday I want to thank because they, they got to fight so we get the peaceful American life. So I want to say thank you someday. So that's my dream. On this gray, rainy morning, she began fulfilling that dream, one flower at a time with help from her sons and grandchildren. My dad has an anthurium farm, so he picked all the flowers that he had. Every single one? Yeah. 500 flowers. They worked quickly and quietly, almost unnoticed, in a part of the cemetery reserved for the unknowns from the Korean War, each grave getting a small vase and at least one heart-shaped flower. We have a lot to go. We probably need to put down a couple hundred, and there's 2,700 something unknown graves here, I think. Are you going to finish today? Oh no, no it's going to take years. Year. <laughs> this will be an ongoing project. Which perhaps added a sense of urgency for Mrs. Uchino. It's, I become 82, I should do some, hurry up. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow is goodbye for everybody. Through the drizzle, the Uchinos worked. We learned Mrs. Uchino is Japanese-American, that her husband's a veteran of Vietnam and Korea who came home hurt. We learned her brother-in-law's grave is in the nearby trees, and that she cries easily for these strangers who sacrificed everything. And we got a good reminder that you don't need a holiday to honor war heroes. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Finally. And that dreams can come true at any age, in any place. I'm so happy. The cemetery has 2,941 unknowns from Korea and World War II. It's also the final resting place for veterans from World War I and Vietnam. The cemetery is now full. And we'd like to thank Mrs. Uchino for sharing her story with us. So we to share it with you. I'm Eileen Parker.